Good morning everybody. What we're going to attempt to do today is code or clone a new key into an 08 plate VW Caddy. Now at the moment the ignition is on with the original key. I'm just going to make sure that this key is correct. Uh, like this. Press the button. Make sure. Okay, so we've got a 48 ID48. I'm going to place that into the ID400. I'm going to take the original key, turn the ignition off, place it in here. He's got all his keys on it, but it should be all right. Read it. 48. So we know it's an ID48. I'm going to put the key in the ignition, turn the ignition on. As you can see, it accepts the key. If I turn the ignition off and I put the new key in, turn the ignition on, we will see that it doesn't accept the key. Okay, so I turn the ignition off, put that one back in there. Now, cloning is supposed to be really easy, but quite often it doesn't go according to plan. So we're going to see today. So I'm using the IM508, go down to accept. So let's go accept. And we're going to choose VW Europe Volkswagen. Now the ignition is on. And this is all going to be done in real time. It'll either work or it won't. Uh, what I'm expecting to see is when we access the cluster, the cluster will switch off. Now we're going to go smart selection first. Let's just see. Nine times out of ten, smart selection won't work. It'll say it cannot read it. So it's read this one this time, which is good. Now, uh, IK48 okay, blank, okay. So number of keys present in vehicle two. Is the key currently inserted? Yes, so escape. It's gonna communicate with it. And what we want is we want clone 48 key. That way we don't need passcodes and we're not interfering with the actual cluster itself. Blank key must be, uh, okay, yes. So we just click yes. Insert the working key and turn the ignition on. So what I'm gonna do is turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition back on again. And then I'm going to go OK. Now what this should do, connects the programmer and the display should go blank. And quite often the, the time changes as well. So what it's doing, it's reading the emo data. So let's just see what it does to the cluster on this one. 31%. So it's reading the data from the key, I should think at the moment. I have got, although it's pouring down my rain, I have got a battery maintainer on this battery just to make sure that the voltage stays up and it is 13.2 volts. So we are currently at 60% with the original key in the ignition. So if we go down to this one, so reading the data, I am online. You, the first thing you have to do with the auto now is, is you've got to go online. It's all done online, completed. So now it's reading and writing the key. Right, so. Select the key ID already exists in the vehicle to perform cloning. So we're going to choose that one. Okay. Performing the cloning. Place a working key in the slot of the program and then plus OK, which is what we've done just there. Press OK. Okay. We can hear it click. Forming the key cloning. Now this is just an ordinary key the customer wants, so we don't have to worry about remotes. So it's making the dealer key. So 
So, key clone successfully. That's what the old tile says, so we're going to go OK. So what should happen now is I should turn the ignition off with the original key. Put that over there. And if I take the new key, let's see if the new key is correctly cloned. And it is. So we'll start the trap. And she starts. So start to finish, five minutes to clone a key as long as smart selection works. If smart selection doesn't work, then, then it becomes a whole different ball game. You have to go through the expert selection. Okay, but that is cloning an ID48 key using the IM508 rather, and the XP400 Pro in about five minutes. Okay, thank you for watching.